This is my tour of Fort McHenry in Baltimore where attorney Francis Scott Key wrote our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Sixty degree view from the ramparts at Fort McHenry. The British would have been out there in the bay. <laughs> so to swivel the guns. They had wheels on tracks, and then they could aim them at the British ships. During the War of 1812, this area used to look like this, but later they added granite and brick to the parapets to shore up the earthen walls. I'm going to walk out into the courtyard here where the barracks were. I'm guessing these are the barracks out here? During the War of 1812 and the Civil War, most of the prisoners of war were kept in the stockade outside of the fort, but the more notorious or dangerous ones, including Francis Scott Key's grandson, were kept inside in tiny cells under lock and key. I found it interesting that the location of the flagpole that held the Star Spangled Banner was unknown for well over a hundred years until archaeologists found it in the 1950s. Before that, a plaque claimed its location, but that was a false location. The heroic Lieutenant Colonel George Armistad died within five years of the battle.